Hi everyone, it's Dr. Shannon Rosne from Thrive Wellness Center in Celine. I wanted to talk to you today about endocrine disruptors, which is a big long two word phrase that basically means stuff that messes with your hormones. So endocrine is the hormonal system or another name for the hormonal system and hormonal organs. And disruptor is exactly what it sounds like, it disrupts. So there's a whole bunch of different chemicals that are found in our environment and in our foods that are known to disrupt the endocrine system uh, or upset your hormones. So what we know is obviously those can't entirely be avoided because they're literally everywhere. However, there are some easy things that you can do and changes you can make that will limit or reduce the amount of endocrine disruptors that you come in contact with. So one of the things we see here in our office is a large rate of things like premenstrual syndrome, thyroid problems, uh, PMS, um, I already said that, um, fertility issues, menopausal issues, um, even just anxiety and depression. And a lot of times this links back to hormone imbalances. So we're always looking to balance out the hormones using supplements, using dietary change. But one of the other things that I think a lot of people maybe don't think about or overlook is the idea that a lot of the chemicals we come in contact in our environment could be the reason your hormones were disrupted in the first place. So we talk a lot about changing um, skincare routines. So some of the endocrine disruptors uh, that are commonly found in our environment are actually found in lotions, shampoos, deodorants, uh, makeup. So obviously targeted towards women, um, we're the ones that use the most products. So switching to a more natural product. So when you see natural products and they say no phthalates, that's P-H-T, no phthalates, uh, no parabens, uh, those are the types of things that you're looking for. So the more natural ingredients. So all, everything we carry here in the store is of the more natural variety because we know that we don't want anything with the endocrine disruptors in there. But also you wanna look for, um, if you were looking at something that you have at your house and you wanna see how it's rated, you can go to ewg.org or there's a, an app called Think Dirty. Either of those is a great resource. You can put in whatever product you're interested in finding out about and it will rate them based on their toxicity uh, and the ingredients that they contain. So that's a great resource if you have something at home and you're not sure if it's good or bad or you know somewhere in the middle. So we recommend switching to more natural makeup, more natural shampoos, conditioners, lotions, uh, cleansers, all of the above. The other place that endocrine disruptors are very prevalent would be in cleaning supplies. Uh, same idea, right? Anything that has a lot of chemicals in it uh, could potentially contain these endocrine disruptors. So switching out some of your cleaning supplies for more natural products, things like using you know, vinegar um, or using baking soda, that kind of thing. But you can also just buy a more natural product if you're not into making your own. We like using essential oils in place of things that are fragrance heavy. So things like candles and Glade plugins or um, room centers like Febreze, those are very, very toxic, not only to your endocrine system, but to your lungs and your sinuses as well. So we recommend using essential oils. Those are much safer. They have very pleasant scent, uh, very powerful, so they'll really do the job for you. Uh, but those are some of the things that you can switch out, laundry detergent, things like that. The other thing that contains endocrine disruptors would be plastics. So when you buy food in plastic, you store food in plastic, you cook food in plastic, you're going to be exposed to some amount of the chemicals in there that can disrupt the hormonal system. So we recommend storing your food in glass containers whenever possible. Costco has a great set of the Snapware uh, and Pyrex where the actual lid snaps on and won't come off. It's got a really good seal, just like you expect from Tupperware but it's a glass container in different sizes. So they have a great option there, very inexpensive. You can switch out some of your food storage. I'd never recommend heating your food in plastic, whether that's plastic wrap or a plastic container in the microwave. So always switch it to glass or put it on the stove, but you never wanna heat it in plastic because that will increase the amount of the plastic chemicals that leach into your food. Uh, and same goes for throwing something in the freezer. So wrap something in uh, parchment paper, or uh, put a layer of something in between the food and the plastic. I wouldn't store any acidic foods like tomato sauce or things like that um, in plastic. That's also gonna leach those chemicals. So these are just some practical things you can do to reduce your exposure. Uh, in order to flush out the existing chemicals in your body, making sure you're drinking plenty of clean water, preferably not from a plastic container, 
uh, making sure that you're eating lots of green veggies because those will help the body flush out those toxins. You can always include some garlic or some um, milk thistle tea. Those are all good things that can help keep your liver healthy and pushing out those endocrine disruptors. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you guys again soon.